Hi everyone. In the previous session, we have seen uh, the extension of the the four classes. That is, we have used uh, the concept of cookies and the sessions, and also we have provided an option to log out from the website, where once the user clicks on log out, we will call mlogout.php. In this page, we are going to destroy all the session variables and all the cookies variables. Okay. Now, in this session, we are going to create four pages. That is one is index.php. Let me open with uh, Paint. We'll create uh, index.php. <clears throat> Here the first part is navigation part, and the next part is weather information, which is meant for the purpose of defining the temperature of the weather. That I am going to take it from the real world websites. I mean, there are some third party websites are there. They will provide this information. we are going to get all this information in the form of a json that we are going to display in our website for that i have taken here uh, one division so where we are going to store weather information which is going to implement in further sessions and in the remaining divisions we are going to provide the option for buttons like google login or sign in or register option this is the page we would like to create as index.php and also we'll create a m s page meaning that make this day student page dot php here once a student successfully logged in then he will able to visualize gallery page whatever the images that are there available in the server those images will be available to his or him coming to the admin if admin is successfully logged in we are going to define m a page dot php where he can able to visualize the gallery whatever the image that are there in the database in addition to that he can able to provide the option for deleting the existing users or he can able to update the existing role of a particular user i mean in the previous session what we did while registering a particular user we are by default giving the role as student if at any point of time if we want to change the role to make it as a faculty or make it as a uh, admin then the admin can able to Uh, update that rule with the help of uh, his own credentials if he is a kind of admin and he can able to upload the images once the images are uploaded those images will be automatically populated to all the users in addition to the admin also and to the faculty also okay fine similarly we'll create uh, a page called mfpage.php where once the faculty is successfully logged in he can able to view the gallery of all images and he can able to view all the student details all the student details including sid s name s phone s email whatever the data that is there in the database including of multiple tables all those data we are going to retrieve to and provide it to the faculty where faculty can able to view the information if at any point of time if a particular student or a particular user ask for you to update the data then the faculty can have the rights to update data by just clicking on the corresponding update link the corresponding update for example if it is student id as 1 if student id 1 is asking for you to sir or madam please try to update my data for s email as so and so mail id then by just clicking this option uh, the faculty can able to update the data that is our requirement similarly for example if i If there is a particular student called ID number two, if student ID number two is asking for our permission, then to update the data, then we can able to provide option to the update the data by the faculty. This is the thing that we will see in this session. Okay, fine. Now, first what I will do is, so for the purpose of simplicity, first we'll go with the gallery page where uh, every user having the common thing. Like whether it may be a student, whether it may be admin, or whether it may be faculty, all are having the required as gallery page. So we'll create one gallery page. <coughs> Control yes, I'm trying to create m gallery dot php. M gallery dot php, where this gallery page is responsible for to display all the images which are available in the corresponding folder. Available in the corresponding folder. Okay, uh, for the sake of simplicity, I will add here itself. make it observe i am trying to add m gallery dot php this is responsible for to get uh, 
uh, all the images to all the pages. Okay, fine. So that I can able to reuse it, right? That's the reason I made it as simple. Okay. So in mgallery.php, I would like to get the data. But basically, basically what we'll do is uh, let me take a simple array where this array contains let us take a set of values so here you can observe there is a folder called images folder which is in the server where i am having three images one is iappa.jpg iappa.jpg another image is download.jpg another image is jk. i think it is capital jpg yes i have this data now my requirement is i would like to display this data to the user in the form of images not directly as names okay so now what we can do is basically if i am trying to print the data like with the help of a print r function uh, dollar images so i am not directly adding this code to the directly project basically before going to deploy into the project i will make it check at our end and we will deploy into the server We'll call localhost slash rgukt slash m gallery dot php. Okay, so this is actually stored at a location called csc one ma. So I don't want to show at the csc one. Control again. Okay, please wait for a while. I would like to change it to the location rgukt. Control yes. See observe now it is showing in the RGB key because we are trying to access there from there. M gallery dot pages. For example, now if I access this page, now we are going to get all the list of images, image names. Now once we got images, we can able to uh, get these images and we can able to place it in the image tag so that you will get. So how we are going to get uh, if it is an associative array by using simply for each loop, I can able to get the data. For example, the array name is dollar images. I am going to take each and every image one by one as dollar image. Now, this thing we already discussed, ma. But see, observe. This is what. So you can go to the previous videos for the for your clarity. So we are going to create a division, and we are going to use image tag. We are going to use download option. Okay. Now, so what we will do is we will try to uh, add one division here. division where this division uh, is responsible for to place all our data like i am going to close the division okay fine i have created a division inside this division i would like to print the images print the images so inside echo tag only i will write uh, the image tag image what is the source you need to define you need to define the source as from which location the image is available image image folder it is available in the images folder in the images folder i need to add an image that image variable name is dollar image dollar image dot i am going to open and then i will define the width width as let me take 450 pixel height as let me take uh, 300 pixel and pixel i am going to close my image tag and close my echo statement that's it okay i have created an image see observe image source equal to image slash dollar image meaning that it will look into the folder called images in that folder it is going for ipa.jpg first then download.jpg then jk.jpg like that is going to move after this for every image i need to provide the download option so that is our requirement right so i'll create one more print statement echo so i am going to create one paragraph in that i will provide an anchor tag a href equal to a href equal to i need to provide some url here so meaning that when the user clicks here what we need to do that i am going to define in this url then i'll provide an option called download the image i am going to close the anchor tag i am going to close the 
paragraph what is the paragraph so right now uh, i am going to make it as hash meaning that when user clicks on download i should not perform anything this is my requirement okay let me check uh, how it is working <coughs> i am going to close the slides i am going to go for m gallery dot php guys observe you are going to get all the data which are available in the simulus okay now i need to make it align in the form of a gallery so let me uh, go for styling section so in the division part i have a tag attribute called style attribute where style equal to i can go for display property display equal to i can i can convert into inline block inline block and i would like to align the text text align to the center text align to the center okay so i need to set its height and width also height i think already set right okay it should be as equal to okay and also i need to make it uh, margin left all those things so that it will look more look and feel margin left as 10 pixels one more. yes now it's good yes right this is the gallery page now uh, for this uh, let me let me give some heading echo mm, let me give uh, some heading as uh, gallery of images gallery of images okay this should be uh, let me take as h2 so that and i will use some center tag guys we are not bothering about uh, the look and feel basically we are bothering about the features at the end we will make all modifications okay gallery of images hmm? now once i just clicks here it needs to be downloaded it needs to be downloaded for that we have already seen that concept how to download that right whenever the user clicks on download button download button i need to make it download by using two functions called header function and by using a method called read file method we can able to simply download so what i will do is whenever user clicks on uh, the download link download link i will be redirected to a page called m download.php in download.php where in that page i am going to send the data in the form of uh, some kind of get url property file equal to the name of the thing is file guys if you want go more get clarity you can go through the concept of this which was already available there in the form of videos file equal to i would like to give the file name what is the file name that simply i am giving it as dollar image dollar image i am going to make use of it that's it okay so meaning that whenever user clicks here on the download button or download link it will be related to mdownload.php and it is having a name as file equal dollar image and in mdownload.php we will get the file name and we can able to simply provide the download option <coughs> simply provide the download i'll go for control n control s yes. i am trying to save it as m download dot php m download dot php in m download dot php <coughs> we have to uh, use the php tags for the purpose of uh, uh, working with php and i need to get the url for example let me take the variable name as name and i need to access it through get parameter get get global variable because i am sending the data in the form of a, a file name as get only name as file as get file and then i am going to check if the whether the image is exist or not so do we need to check whether the image is exist or not no need to check because it, if it is already there then only it will display there itself so that's why i don't need to display anything so just i will go for using header method where i can able to simply use content disposition property in order to download my image attachment and what are the file that is downloading for that file i am going to give the name so that that will be uh, better for me base name of base name of i am going to pass the image name as dollar name dollar name and i am going to close this okay fine next once i i have written the header file i need to read the file i need to read the file meaning that i need to write into the buffer of the browser so 
where the image is available which is available in the folder called images folder in the images folder what what file you need to read dollar name file you need to read you need to read that's it we need to provide like uh, while explaining the concepts of these uh, small things small small concepts these are not necessary for us because here these are already available now let us check that clearly once the users user open the gallery page you will get this page if i click on download that will be downloaded that will be downloaded if i click on download yes this also will be downloaded in the form of iapa.jpg so this is the reason we are going to use the method called base name method base name method if i click on this one that will be downloaded so this is our requirement so with this uh, with this we have completed the when the student is login we need to display the gallery that is completed but the thing is if you observe here if you observe here are we getting the images are we getting the images statically or dynamically we are getting the images actually statically but in the real time these images are in the form of dynamically dynamical meaning that whatever the images that are available in the database that should be retrieved directly retrieved directly so for that for that we have already gone through one concept called parsing parsing of directories function okay so what we can do is we can simply uh, scan the directory by using a method called scan directory method what is the uh, directory we need to scan the directory name is images images i am going to save it with a name called files meaning that whatever the files that are available in the directory of images the directory of images those are all available in the form of an array in the name of files files and i hope you know you remember this is going to return all the current directory all the parent directory all the current directory uh, images so i i don't want to go for the current directory as dot and the parent directory as double dot so i am going to eliminate that with the help of array underscore diff method array underscore diff method so what is the array you need to differentiate dollar files the another array is one is dot operator another one is double dot i need to eliminate these two and i need to store the remaining files remaining files okay fine now i got a list of images so those list of images are like these three this three. okay once i got these three images what i need to do ma i need to take each and every image i need to take each and every image how we are going to iterate each and every image simply by using for each simple advanced function for each dollar files as i am going to take it as dollar image dollar image okay basically if you are going to print each and every image that will be printed for you see for example hmm echo let me try to print as dollar image if i refresh it observe it is going to get iapa.jpg download.jpg jk.jpg it is getting or not yes it is getting but the thing is but the thing is do i want to print the names of images or do you want to store in the form of an array basically we store in the form of an array so whatever the names that i am getting if i push that to an array that i can able to use it for this particular code so what i will do is i will create an array don't worry about that uh, error somehow because of that commenting it is getting that i am going to make use of dollar images and i am going to create one empty array that will be assigned for that now in this images array i am going to push every image what i am getting okay so with the help of a method called array underscore push method what is the in which array i need to push dollar images array i need to push what is the variable you need to push that is image image now everything is clear for you now what happened it is going to read the list of images which are available in the list of documents which are available in the folder and every every image name is going to place in the array name called images and remaining is going to be as usual if i refresh it observe i said it is going to if i click download that will be downloaded for you okay for example for example i have taken here already one folder need to be uploaded i am going to copy this uh, let me take rjukt students image and i am going to place in the images folder images folder if i refresh it 
if i refresh this page i need to get that right yes it is getting but here the thing is uh, it is it is not getting the image so there will be some problem while in the display yes so here you need to make it is of uh, double quotation make it is of double quotation okay this is the way you can able to download the images display the images and user may feel to download it he can able to download by just clicking this download option download option okay fine so this is the page for the gallery of images now what i can do wherever i would like to use this uh, uh, gallery uh, page that i can able to use by using simply include include or require what i will do is i will create one uh, one page with the name ms page control yes so the page name is ms page dot php right now in this page what is our requirement our requirement is whenever the corresponding students successfully logged in i need to invoke i need to invoke m gallery dot php that's it m gallery dot PHP. So I will I will simply uh, copy this one. Simply use this URL. Yum student page dot PHP. Yes, it is getting. So for the purpose of controlling and all those things, we'll see in the further sessions. Now, I need to create one more page. That is Yum admin page. So Yum a page dot PHP. MA page dot PHP. In MA page dot PHP, what we need to do provide? You need to provide the gallery first. Let me create the gallery. So we can simply reuse that. Simply reuse that by using include, include MA gallery dot PHP. Have reused it, right? Once I reused, then uh, I need to have a form. I need to have a form first. Uh, let me complete this part. Now. Let me complete this. Uh, choose file upload option. Then we'll we'll go to the remaining one in the first session. Okay. So first I need to create one form. Okay, guys. Here I need to create a form. Can I create a form in the PHP tags? No. I have to create outside compulsory. So I will create the form. Form. So here, uh, whenever you are trying to upload a file, so the purpose of this admin is to upload a file. You have to compulsory give the post, and you have to provide the encrypted type as multi-part, or you have to provide it as a form data. Form data, and uh, we are trying to ask the user admin to upload. So that's why upload option. I am going to use a tag called input type equal to file. Name equal to. Let me take it as fn. It as fn, and I am going to take the submit button. Input type equal submit. Name equal to sud. Guys, this is somewhat different from compared to the previous uh, sessions. See what I am trying to do is basically. Whenever user clicks submit button, user clicks submit button. Up to now, what we did is we are redirecting to a page called action dot action page. Action what we defined. But now what I am going to do is I am not giving anything. So what will happen? It will be gone to the same page. It will go to the same page. In the same page, what I will do is I will write the same. I will write the code in the same page itself. Uh, I will check for whether user clicks the uh, submit button or not. So if is set of dollar underscore dollar underscore what is the variable post variable post of what is the name of the button submit button yes when the user clicks the submit button then I need to go for the execution of this particular code in the particular execution of the code what I need to do I need to upload the file I need to upload the file. Guys, if you would like to upload the file, what are the things that you require compulsory? You required compulsory from where I need to upload. That is from the previous location, and also I required to upload the destination part where I need to load that images. So first, to get the uh, location of the images, so I would like to go for global variable like files. What is the file name? Fn. File name is Fn. In that, I would like to get only temporary location. That is a temporary name, temporary location name. I am going to get. So I am going to get the location variable. Guys, so this also we discussed there. 
while discussing those concepts. Yes, you can observe here. I'm trying to access the temporary lo file location, name of the file, upload, move underscore upload and the file. There is a problem. All those things we discussed already. So we will go through this directly. Yes, once we got the temporary location where it is available, I need to uh, store this in the some part location. What is the part location variable? That is destination. In the destination, I would like to store. In the destination, what is the location? The location is images. In the images, I need to save with some name. I need to save with some name. What is that name that we can give based upon our interest? I would like to add the name as it is, which was given by the, which was uploaded by the user. Uploaded by the user. So can I get the name? Yes. Dollar name equal to. <coughs> I will get with the help of global variable files of fn of. There is a property called name property. Name property. Now that I will get the name. <coughs> okay. Now. Once I get uh, the name of the file, then I can able to append it to this particular thing. So where I need to place the destination name is images slash the corresponding name as uh, the file name. Now, now um, next what you can do is I can simply upload that with the help of a method called move underscore upload underscore file. What is the file location name, temporary location name, dollar location. What is the destination that is dollar destination you have to do. So obviously you know this is successful definitely successful. Uh, let me go for ma page dot php now. Now localhost slash ma page dot php. Guys observe by default it is getting all the gallery of images because we have provided that feature and also we have an option called here upload file option. See I don't want to get here. I would like to get all these things after the upload option. Upload option. So I will cut here and I will paste between the PHP tags. Here I am going to place. Observe now. Yes. This is a gallery of images. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so for time being, uh, for the purpose of uh, Another time, I will make it to the center. Yes, choose file. Now, what I will do is, I will try to choose the file. So, from like for example, let me take Saraswati.jpg, upload it. I mean, select it, and I am trying to submit. Ob observe, the second element to copy function cannot be a directory. Mapage.php on line nine, undefined variable yes name. Yes, so this should be a kind of name. So the name of the variable is name, right? Hmm. I'll refresh it. Yes. Observe, guys. It was uploaded. It was uploaded. Yes, that's looking good. So if I am going to upload uh, uh, vijayawada.jpg, submit. Yes, it was uploaded. If I am going to upload something like uh, uh, night view of Arju KT, if I submit, that will be submitted. Observe that will be submitted. If I want, you can able to download because admin can have rights to download all the images. This is the way you can able to upload the images. Okay, fine. Okay, here think if I if I am going to choose the file and that file is again Saraswati. Saraswati. If I submit, will it is going to be gated? No, because the file is already there. That's why it is not allowing for you. The file is already there. That's why it is not allowing for it. Meaning that if I observe here, in the so where it is uploading in all in the images folder. As Saraswati.jpg is already available, it is not allowing you to add once again. But the thing is, I don't know exactly whether it is already available in the server or not. User won't think that, right? So for that, what we can do is we can handle that. So uh, I will try to check whether the folder contains, whether the server contains that image or not the image or not. So for that what I can do, I will try to scan the entire directory what are available for me in the images folder that I am going to save in a variable called files variable which you know that files variable and I am going to iterate all the files but before going to iterate all the files 
what we need to eliminate we need to eliminate the present directory and the root directory so i am going to define array underscore diff method what is the uh, array first array files what is the secondary secondary should be array of current directory present directory and parent directory i need to eliminate i need to eliminate once i eliminate it then i will go for simply for each loop which i have written already that i am going to store in a variable called dollar files variable dollar files variable now here <coughs> for each of dollar files as dollar file dollar files of dollar file i am going to check now whether this uploaded file is already available in the folder or not where the data is available in the dollar file that i am going to get every data so i am going to in the, in the form of dollar file now what we can do is i will check that if dollar file whatever the file that is available there is matching with already already uploading name already uploading name yes if it is match i am going to simply say that image already there with the same name same name okay fine that's it image already there with the same name uh image already there upload uh, different image let me try to write something okay different image i would like to restrict uh, to avoid the confusion for the user that's it and once this particular block is executed meaning that i don't want to execute the remaining lines of code that's why i might as exit from this particular block particular block okay fine now observe if i am going to refresh it observe image is already there with the same name upload different image i will come back come back if i choose the file if i choose the file i will write upload vijaywada barrage.jpg and i will submit yes it has submitted and it has viewed here so here but if i upload some other thing uh, let me take uh, again saraswati.png which is available already that's why it will say that image is already with the name so upload different image okay we will we'll handle all the requests in some other time now i think we completed in the admin page we completed the choose file option that will automatically reflect it to the gallery page now the thing is i would like to provide these two forms also sid and user can able to perform the delete option and sid uh, user can able to provide the role option where he can able to update the roles so i will try to create those two forms also so this is the form uh, let me try to create one division for this class equal to so this is this form is related to this i would like to apply some settings at the later part admin upload uh, division admin upload division okay similarly now i don't want to go for Style equal to some border I would like to provide. So for the sake of uh, understandable, border equal to some five bits. Okay, maybe it is going to get. Uh, okay. Style uh, border. Five pixel, solid, red color. It is going to occupy the entire thing. Now uh, I can provide uh, margin bottom also. Margin bottom as ten pixel. Yes. so i can i can provide that for the, the settings all those uh, different location now what i can do is i can uh, reduce this size with as 300 pixel with as 300 pixel okay fine this is the thing we have to do okay next uh, here all here itself i will provide one more uh, box here it will one one more box that is so i will simply uh, Take one more division. 
guys don't worry about the look and feel uh, division i'll take the class as uh, mm, that is delete option that is delete option right admin delete class so for the sake of our understandability i will take the style width as 300 pixel guys i know that this, there are some problems are there for this border 5 pixel for the sake of our understandable time taking it as this now hmm. i am going to uh, close this division inside this division i will create one form form i don't want to go for the uh, the remaining pages instead i would like to perform method equal to post post and i am trying to send the data i know i don't want to i don't want to bother about whether it is post or get i can simply access so here what we require we required sid of the student by simply providing input type equal to text text i will provide placeholder enter student enter student id enter student id and i will i will make it as sid only sid only and i will try to take input type equal to submit submit name equal to yes delete yes delete when the user submitted this data uh, i would like to relate it to i would like to execute some set of code where the corresponding student is going to be deleted so for that what we can do is if if the user or the admin clicks see by default it is what get because i didn't mention any kind of method as post get what you have to define yes delete when the user clicks on yes delete button yes delete button i would like to call for the logic as clicked on delete user button so for the sake of uh, uh, the understanding whether it is working or not i have taken like that now can observe yes we got something now if we click submit button i need to call if i click submit button mm, 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 mm. name equal to s delete is delete and if i submit yeah here i have used the method as post only method as post that's why here compulsory have to go with the post hmm now it will work if i click submit yes you can observe click it on delete user button so i hope you understood now that means uh, in a particular page i can able to provide multiple forms multiple forms so next uh, i would like to create one more division one more division mm. let me try to create the division so that division name is uh, that is a uh, user update role page user update role page admin update role page so same as this with as so on so i will copy all these properties this is just for the purpose of our understanding how much it is occupying all those things and i am going to take the form form uh, in the form i will take the action as nothing nothing and i am going to take the method as uh, post post where, where what we required we required us to enter the uh, in student id input type equal to text we need to accept the placeholder enter student id the student id and to provide the name as yes and so as i'm trying to update the role i need to provide uh, the roles select role select role i'll provide so this is i would like to provide right select select role so if you want to provide the options i'll go for option mm, option as uh, by default it is student so i wanted to go for selecting specifically if it wants to make them as a faculty i can make them as a faculty 
if it wants to make them as admin i can make them as admin make them as admin so i can make it as value equal to faculty so that i can able to use it on the back end part value equal to at value to that next i will try to take input type equal to submit the name as admin update admin update whenever the clicks uh, that uh, button is clicked by the admin i will check for if is set of dollar underscore post of why it has entered first dollar underscore post of a update a update i will say that echo uh, clicked on uh, update rows clicked on update rows and it is working on that so in the further session we will extend this code so how how it should be up updated all these things yes observe now i'll refresh this page yes we got uh, three fields so we can able to modify this uh, syntaxes if i click submit button observe clicked on update roles clicked on update roles this is the way you can able to provide the m admin page m admin page along with the given requirement now would like to go with the faculty would like to go with the faculty where i am going to give the name as m f page dot php page dot php in m f page dot php we require to have only uh, only uh, gallery page and the corresponding data from the database that's it so where i want to display i would like to display at the end before the before uh, before the gallery page i need to display all the students so i can include the gallery page at the end include include m gallery dot ph m gallery dot ph now i will check whether he is a faculty or not if he or she is a faculty if he or she is a faculty i would like to get all the data from the database so what i will do is i will try to create the table right so i need to create the table so in order to create the table uh, let me work uh, this updation in the next session so what you can do is i would like to check whether he is a proper faculty or not when the pro when he is a proper faculty then i need to connect to the database and i need to get the all the student details i need to provide the update page all those things i need to get so that i will update in the next session so here i need to write the table and check for faculty check for faculty okay this is the way you can able to implement m faculty page dot php okay fine once i have implemented m faculty page dot php observe let me take uh, see observe if i if i refresh m a page dot php will it the database is going to be updated or not okay this is admin not admin i would like to get the student page student page also getting the same thing but the difference between the student page and the admin page is admin having these three rights this thing based upon the rights of the user will be related to the different pages now i would like to get localhost slash rgkt slash m faculty page dot yes faculty can able to view the data but in addition to that we need to provide this function so with this we complete these three pages now we'll go with the this index page index page is the main page so control gen so let me call as m index dot php okay i'll create the php code and then i will try to include the header part include h dot php i hope you remember in h dot php we have all the link tags styling sections and the bootstrap code all these things that's why i'm trying to include uh, h dot php once i include h dot php and i can able to include any kind of some navigation bar something like navbar dot php in navbar uh, we'll have navigation code the navigation code so navbar dot php included once the navigation bar included 
I can able to provide uh, the weather information division. So I am going to create one division. I'm going to create one division. In the division, I am going to provide some set of styles because you can observe here if you write weather information. Weather information. So I need to make it. Uh, so I need to close the PHP code here, and I need to open the PHP code here. Also. Hmm. Now, if you observe, if I am going to open mindex.php, localhost slash rgkt mindex. Okay, mindex.php. You are going to get the navigation part, but you are not able to view. The weather information part because this is going to be under the navigation bar so that's why we will we'll make some kind of styling here style equal to margin bottom or i would like to go with from margin top margin top i am going to uh, display after 10 percent observe it is going to get here now for this also i would like to create some kind of uh, border border 5 pixel solid red color red colors so that will occupy the required amount of thing so i don't want to occupy this much uh, because uh, only the weather information is very 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 much less so i can occupy after 6% yes okay if it is uh, pure less also no problem for is that can take five percent. We'll cover the remaining thing, the same styling in another session. Just for the sake of our index page, I am trying to create like this. Now, once some information is added through the JSON format, I would like to create one more division tag, where in this particular session, uh, uh, this particular uh, division, I would like to define this part. Like uh, I would like to ask for Google sign in or sign in or register. So. What I would like to is, I would like to create an anchor tag, a href equal to, I am going to redirect it to nothing. So this is uh, Google sign, Google sign in button. Okay, I am going to close my anchor tag and then I am going to provide R. So basically I am not worrying about the, uh, the more look and feel, href equal to uh, m login dot php login.php here it is saying that sign in. saying that sign in i'm going to closing the anchor tag and r our user can able to register it right a href equal to m registration dot php m registration or m register m registration dot php register you can able to perform any operation for the purpose of using the website for the purpose of using the website if i refresh it you will get the same thing like this now i can able to convert this to um, a kind of uh, buttons where the class as button class as button and for this button i am going to define the color as uh, primary color so class equal to button that also be button primary class equal to button and that will be as button primary if you observe now, you will get this index like this. Now, I need to adjust these uh, styles. So, by using style equal to, I will make align uh, that in uh, from all the sides. That is from the top and bottom. I am going to make it assign 200 pixel, and from the uh, left and right also, I will make it is 200 percent. Yes. So, let me go with uh, 250 pixel. That that will be somewhat better. Okay, fine. So this looks uh, somewhat better. Or else, let me go with 200 pixel. Yes. yes. So I can make it align something like. Uh, so not only about. So these buttons are somewhat uh, occupying only the required amount of space. Instead, what I can do is uh, I can I can update with the, the uh, fixed width. Fixed width. So with the help of uh, button uh, style section style i am going to access the button btn 
and I will define the width as some 200 pixels. I will refresh it. It has updated. So once the user clicks on sign in, that will be related to mlogin.php. If he clicks on uh, uh, something like registration, that will be related to mregistration. Yes. So that will redirect it to mindex.php, everything in the later part. Okay. Okay, this is for today's session. In the next session, we will continue the project.